So let's go ahead and come into a meditative space in yourself. Start to turn your gaze inward, your attention and focus inward, whatever that is for you. And I'm just going to be doing some talking, but I also, this is very open and free, so you can even do your own kind of meditation inside of yourself if you're not connecting with the words. But it does help to start with an upright position so that you can really align your central channel of your energy field to be vertically aligned and connected. So let's all take a collective deep inhale together. Exhaling out anything that came before this moment in your day. And breathing in one more time in the space of connection and shared intention to raise our frequencies and to raise the frequency of the collective conscious and to best understand our own personal consciousness and how we can maintain self-responsibility of that through meditation and awareness while there's an absolute crazy energetic storm around us at all times on the earth right now. Go ahead and take one more inhale into your own personal intention. Inviting any words or sensations that are meaningful and important to you as we do this collective meditation together. Definitely inviting any movement that feels like it's calling to you. You'll probably see me doing a lot of even standing up and moving around a little bit as I do this. Guys, we've been holding so much of the collective stress and tension as empaths. So you're gonna feel that in your body, that's normal. If you've been having trouble sleeping, that's normal. You're having anxiety that doesn't feel like it's your own. That's normal. That's a part of what we do, usually by accident, here on the earth. So as we get started, I just want to invite you to come into whatever feels grounding for you. It might be just feeling your feet on the floor, feeling your seat, It might be an image connecting to a tree or a stone or something that has a grounded energy in and of itself. It may bring up sensations in the body. I want to remind you that sensations are just messengers, just messengers of energy. So try to let the thinking thoughts and the judgments pass through rather than connecting to what you're hearing yourself think or judge about the sensations that come up. Most of us empaths tend to be slightly ungrounded a whole lot of the time. I mean that mostly energetically, but that can also look like being imaginative and creative in your mind, overthinking things, even a little bit of clumsiness. And one reason we stay less grounded is because there's a lot, there's so much energy here that we feel when we come all the way into our bodies. And sometimes it's just easier and quicker to unground a bit. But to do this important work that we have to do in these times, it's crucial that we learn how to ground into our own energy field, into our own personal consciousness more of the time with more ease and more grace and more connection and reverence for the earth's energy field as the entire earth raises its frequency. 
And just notice even as I say these words, how you can feel the sensation change and move and flow in your body. You may get little sparks or tingles. And I just name for those who might not be aware that when you feel that higher vibrational frequency that comes in that's so much more powerful and bigger than the thinking mind state or even your awareness of your body, when you get that tingle or that sparkle or that little ripple of energy, you're likely connecting to fifth dimension energies. This is beyond the third dimensional world that we're used to living in. This is beyond the fourth dimension of time and space. This is something that's so far beyond, so cosmic, so far away from our thinking brain that can even make sense of it. But it's something that we can definitely feel and tap into as a sensation in the body. And I want to encourage you to do that. I can feel you all feeling that. And if you're questioning yourself, yes, that is it. That is what you're feeling. So you can tell your brain that your brain is a slow, dense 3D organ that will take some time to understand and take that in. But just give her some grace as she adjusts and builds a new neural network of understanding. So coming back to the idea of grounding, allowing your personal consciousness inside of your energy field, like an egg of energy that's around you, to ground down, to land. Allowing the sensations in the body to just be what they are, just energy flowing, just messengers of energy, not needing to do anything with that right now. And next, bring your focused awareness to the space at your center, your central channel, the tube of light or flow that moves from the crown chakra at the top of the head and down through the body, out through the root chakra at your perineum. Also allowing yourself some time to regulate and adjust to that connection. Another thing we empaths do is we go so far outside of ourselves expand our energy field so far out with little feelers, little antenna that are always picking up what's happening around us. And yes, that gives us oftentimes a gift of connected intuition, empathy, beautiful things. But right now I'm asking you to reorient, to adjust how that boundary is so that we can access that same intuition, that same empathy from within our own personal consciousness in our own central channel. If you feel anxiety, if you feel feelings coming up in your body, maybe in your chest, in your throat, in your stomach, it's likely that you're carrying some past life trauma or wounding or information that it wasn't safe to be within your own center. And what's amazing for us here in this time, as we have this global coronavirus pandemic, what's happening now is that we get to finally use this as a way to finally shift into the truth of the wholeness of who we really are, into the space of our own personal consciousness where we can live from that place as our truth, as our deepest wisdom, as our guide. No longer needing to search outside of us ourselves. No longer needing to hide, disconnect, unground, from what we know to be our deepest, highest self. Those were past lives where we had to do that. We've all had to do that time and time and time again. And this is a lifetime where we get to heal that experience, finally. And you may feel waves of emotion come up. There is collective sadness around this. There's grief happening on every level in the greater consciousness right now. I want you to feel that grief as a conscious letting go, a conscious release. Finding that deeper voice in you that understands that this is how it's supposed to happen. 
that whatever you're going through on a personal level, on an ego level, on a body level, is what is supposed to be for your highest good, for your highest truth. You do not need to know exactly what that means in the 3D world, in the daily world, because that is not where the energy is coming from. It is coming from so far beyond and outside of us, all the way from fifth dimensions and beyond. And your body is a conduit. Your body can carry the frequency of the energy through the cells of your being. Coming back again, focusing your awareness on that central channel of light that runs through the center of you. You may see it, sense it, know it, feel it. There's all different ways that we unpass experience, how we know energy. Whatever you're experiencing in this moment is real, is true, is your highest self. Let your brain, that clunky organ inside of your dark skull, take that in and understand that as real and true. Again, touching in, focusing your awareness on grounding, feeling that run all the way down through your lower body. I like to stand up when I'm feeling myself come out of my body, so I'm gonna do that. You don't have to, but you can join me. And once you can feel that sense of being grounded and aligned with your central channel all together at the same time, perhaps titrating back and forth at first, perhaps feeling an overwhelm of sensation until you can regulate and settle back down into that connection again, grounding and alignment with central channel. Breathing to calm whatever comes up in the nervous system. The nervous system exists in the physical world as a part of the 3D reality. It is a part of what the body has to live with and through in order to live here on the planet. It's just something we have to be in constant relationship with rather than governed by. <sighs> breathing, breathing, breathing always helps tucking the chin or bending the knees can help to activate the parasympathetic nervous system to invoke the calming neurotransmitters in the brain to tell the body that you are safe in this moment in this time and space Of course, there are times in the past, in the past in this lifetime, in the past in other past lives, where you have not been safe. And that is okay, that is not happening now. Reorient and regulate again and again and again. That is not happening now. You create your own safety by grounding into your own personal consciousness and your own energy field finding connection to your central channel, aligning with your own center and knowing that as your truth and that is how you become safe and that is where you can trust. You can begin from this grounded and centrally aligned awareness to bring your focused awareness into the space that is around you, into the energy field of your personal consciousness, about an arm's length distance around you in every direction, including beneath your feet. And just notice, just notice how the boundary may be expanded out. There may be parts that feel tight or like there's no flow. Just allow it to be whatever it is. But allow your awareness and your mind to begin to understand this as the whole of you. This is your space. You can even stretch your arms out side to side with your palms facing toward your center. 
and feel yourself. And again, tell yourself, this is me, this is my space, this is me in my highest good, in my highest frequency, in my personal consciousness. This is where my boundaries extend out and where they contain. And all of the knowing that I need to do, all of the urges to go and expand outside of myself can be done from that outer level of my auric energy field. As if there are little receptors, little cells, little bits of information that can make contact and connect at the edge of me. I do not have to expand my whole self out. That makes me vulnerable, ungrounded, and I carry things that are not mine when I do that. Again, you may feel body sensations or need to move, do whatever you need to do. So repeating again, a connection to grounding, an alignment to your central channel, and an awareness of your boundaries. Grounding, alignment, boundaries. This is your task. Feel it how you do in your own space, in your own understanding, in your body. And memorize something about the sensation of this experience. Understand it in your brain as your personal consciousness. And understand that this space is a conduit for any energy that your focused awareness brings into it. Allowing a connection to a higher frequency, fifth dimension and beyond. To enter in and fill every cell of your being inside of the space of you. Feeling and noticing any sensation, any thoughts, any emotions that come up as just human information, just a 3D experience of being in this body. Especially feeling the lungs, feeling yourself breathe. There's so much collective grief happening. It's unresolved grief that people can't feel that we have been feeling for them. As empaths, that's what we do, especially when we're ungrounded or unaware or just going about our daily lives. It's important that you know what your truth is and where you find it. You find it in your central channel. In a space where you can find a neutrality, an okayness, a presence. Remembering where your energetic boundaries are. This time is so unique because we get to really practice what it is to be so well boundaried. We are literally physically unable to touch each other, to go into each other's space. And that allows us time to sit with ourselves, to sit with all of our own stuff that keeps us from this kind of personal consciousness connection. The job, the task right now is to sit still, to ride the waves, and to keep coming back again and again and again to your own personal consciousness, your highest good, your highest vibrational frequency at the center of you. It's your greatest gift to humanity, to the earth, to hold this, hold it like a light you are the light source. You shine your light from inside of your central channel out. From this kind of regulation practice again and again, you can start to feel the healthier boundaries of your energy field. You can start to feel the way that you can connect from your structured boundary 
from your own personal consciousness contained and well regulated to your highest vibrational frequency. And that is the place from where you connect to everything and anyone outside of you. So that when we are again allowed to touch, to hug, to share space with one another, you can feel this differently. This is your time to practice this kind of self-responsibility for your own soul to grow and be its highest self. This is where the healing is right now. This is what the whole entire earth is doing as a collective energy, as a planet. So again, touching on the process, grounding, aligning to your central channel, finding the boundaries of your energy field, and then self-regulating any body, nervous system, emotional kind of stuff that comes up, just letting that be. It's just a part of doing this kind of consciousness work through the conduit of the human body. Sitting in stillness with this frequency, doing this again and again and again, as many times as you can muster. I send all of you so much deep love and gratitude for the work that you're doing in the world, for the work that you're doing in yourself. I will leave you in this space of continued meditation as long as you would like. Thank you for being here today. I send you so much love and hope that we connect soon.